Hey, I'm Brian and Terry, and welcome to my webcast. Um, really, I'm just gonna hit on everything I know about, you know, just start talking about a little stuff. I'm just gonna talk about the topic virginity. Yes, everyone knows what that is. Well, probably some little kids do, but yes, everyone knows what it is. Yeah. Um, if you don't know what it is, then let me explain it for you. Virginity. It's when a person, a guy or girl. Yeah, same as, or different sex. Hasn't had sex or sexual intercourse. You know what I mean? Um, some people take virginity as physically. Actually, it could be mentally. You know, like there's there's a lot out there, but I'm just gonna hit on the main topic. Um, now this this is just opinion. You guys can agree, disagree on it, leave me comments, anything. Nothing vulgar though. Nothing cussing or F you or anything like that, alright? Just keep it clean and I'll reply to you. Um, here's my view, alright? My view is I believe saving it till marriage. I mean, even though I'm black. I mean, you have most people out there who's like, oh yeah, let's let's go lose it when I'm I'm gonna lose it when I'm 16. No, I'm gonna lose it when I'm 14. Nah, maybe I'm gonna lose it when I'm 12. 12. You gonna lose it when you're 12. I remember someone like that lost it when they were 12. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just believing that I will save myself to marriage, and I am. So. And it's a good thing, you know, because I'm Christian, and you know, I'm I'm keeping myself pure for the marriage partner that God cho chooses for me. So in the end, that means I'm keeping it. Now there are some Christians out there who made the wrong decision to lose it, but Christian anyway. And that's and that's and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay because they renewing themselves. So I'm saying. But hear this. I have very, very low tolerance when people, or yeah, when people lose it, like when they're 16. I hate premium number six. Let me give it to you. I specifically hate, with a passion, a burning passion, I hate sex before marriage. Like, I have zero tolerance for it whatsoever. Like, for real. Like, I can get angry about it. I can just be picky. I can slam it just right off the bat. Like, the reasons why I hate it and everything else. I'll just go rambling off. I hate it. I mean, because my point of view is strong. Like, it's like a brick wall. Because I'm never going to break my point of view. I'm not going to change it. Okay, I mean, some people like say oh, I'm gonna save it till marriage, and then they change their point of view. Why change it? I mean, for real. And some people do, and that's like, what the heck? You know, you just lied about it. Like you say, oh, I'm gonna save it till marriage, right? Uh, next four months, you're with this guy. I'll oh, screw. And then next thing you know, you say, ooh, I wanted that because it felt so good. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> liar. Um, so yeah, as I was saying before, I hate sex before marriage, because in my view, I say that virginity is the most important thing that you can ever give to your spouse, guy or girl, it doesn't matter, it's the best gift you can give to your spouse, see here's this, here's the reason why I hate it, because number one, you're giving your gift way too early, you're giving it to somebody that you won't even marry. You're giving it to somebody that might break up with you after you do it. You see what I'm saying? See, look at this. Why lose it to a person now when you can save it till you're married? And then that person that you're with for the rest of your life, you lose it to them. See, you're going to be them. They're going to be there for the rest of your life. Now, not unless if you're getting a divorce, on the other hand. But, you love the person, and you lose it to them. 
but in today's society, this has gotten out of change. This has gotten out of whack. Not out of change, out of whack. See, people, see, society says that, oh, yeah, you can have sex, like, when you're in a relationship, and you know it's the right time, and you're only 16, there's a problem, big problem, okay? Because, listen to this, why lose it to your boyfriend or girlfriend when you know 100%? Or just somewhere in the back of your mind that you're not gonna marry them anyway. See, sometimes I date girls, and I remember two of them wanted me to have sex with them, and I said no. And I said after that, I had to break up with them because I couldn't do it. Really, couldn't do it. Cause I'm not gonna break in what I believe. Now, some people believe like sex before marriage is okay, you know, like all these different beliefs. I don't get it. I don't care. Like, save it anyway, you know. Like, when you when you give it to your husband, your husband gets something in return. When you give it to your wife, gentlemen, that's the greatest gift you can give to her. Now. I think I covered everything. Am I right? I'm probably right. But, and there's some situations where the person gets raped. Now there's two types. Two types. Now I'm calling this my own. Type number one is when the person gets raped, but they didn't want it. They didn't, they didn't need it. You know? They hated it. They despise of it. They, they, they regret it. Number two, they get raped, but they like it. You see, you see much of a difference. See, when you don't like it, you're like, you know, you're sobbing your eyes out and blah 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 blah. When you like it, you're like, oh, you got raped. I'm like, I got raped and I liked it. Really? Didn't you say you wanted to save it? Yeah. Well, did you like it? Yeah. I was like, hello. I can't say it though. But you understand what I'm saying, am I right? There's some people out there. Number three, and I don't know I didn't put any bullets out. But here's the one I mostly, mostly hate. Okay. Say you have the same views like me. And I know some of you guys do. I know some of you girls do. But let's just say, okay, I've been in this situation once in my life, and I think this was back in, wow, I don't even remember, but anyway, but, um, listen, people get, people get mad when they get lied to lied to about something and I hate liars everyone hates liars now some people love liars and believe them but me I specifically hate liars because they cannot tell the truth and they are not trustworthy who would lie about the virginity and then the next thing you know you text them and they say oh I'm horrible and you say why and they say, I had sex. And I don't know if I'm pregnant or not because I haven't had my period in the last three months. What if that happened? Think about it. What if that happened? Girl you've been dating. She said, you meet up, you meet up back with her, you know, she used to hate you. You meet back up with her, you're like, oh baby, I want you back, I want you back. Okay, you get back with her. Like, you ask her, um, are you a virgin? I'm like, yeah. And I know some guys do that too. You know, it's okay. Because you want your girl to be clean. And, 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 of course, I want my girls to be clean too. Um, 